lot of us want a six pack and sure we've heard abs are laying in the kitchen but we still got to work these babies and so a good abdominal movement is something known as a gar hammer most people are not familiar with this movement so i kind of wanted to make this video pretty basic movement it can be very challenging i quite enjoy uh implementing these in my workout programs to work my abdominals so what you'll need is a bench you're going to want to hold on to the end of the bench so make sure you're using the long portion not this side to hold on to or it will flip up on you you may have seen this before where people are curling up and then kicking their legs way in the air you don't want to do that because the objective of this movement is to shorten the abdominals and when you come up and you get to the top and you kick them in the air you're actually working against like it's opposing you're now lengthening them so there's kind of no purpose to that simply you just get in the bench brace yourself nice and sturdy okay you're going to have your hips everything at 90 you're going to compress the abs so think of driving in towards the spine and then you're going to pull your hips up to about there okay remember Abdominals are very short. You don't need to do big, huge movements kind of thing, okay? Same with like sit-ups. So once you come up, you get so far, it's now the hips. So we're simply just gonna compress, drive them in. So sometimes with just a flat bench, this movement might be too easy. So what you can do to make it more difficult is you can raise the bench. Now, raising it up to here might make it way too hard. So what you can do instead of coming up this high is you simply can just take a plate and put it underneath the frame to give you a little bit more of an incline and make the gar hammer more challenging. Uh, so I definitely like to incorporate this for my abdominal workouts. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at that.coach.curtis.